how's it team and how magic is this and i hope that intro got your juices going because this is going to be an epic video uh, i'm on a meat hunt uh trying to fill the freezer so anything and everything is fair game and i've already spotted a couple of deer up real high um i am planning on going high but yeah i've only just got here so we'll just uh have a quick glass everywhere else and see what I, else I can see. If I can, I'll get the big camera on these guys and we'll see what they are. I think they're just a couple of hinds. Might even be a couple of fallow doe, I'm not sure. But yeah, let's have a look. Wow, that all happened very fast. Oh, I kid you not, I was walking along in the open, right down here on the valley floor, and lo and behold, I just smoked a tar. <laughs> I can't believe it. I don't understand why it's so low. Oh my goodness, that's nuts. Right. Right, just give it a couple of minutes, but then we'll go get it. Ah, oh, crazy. Okay, guy, to give you a bit of perspective on just what happened. This tar, I think I still got the shakes, but this tar was walking, come down off that little terrace, walked all the way across here until I shot him there. <laughs> and then he's even rolled down the hill a little bit for me. I can't believe it. I'm just gobsmacked. Epic. Oh, guys. Wow. Crazy, crazy turn of events. I was uh, anticipating being here for a couple of days and barely seeing an animal. And uh, half an hour into my trip, <laughs> I got this fella. So he is just a young bull, just a young one. Um, yeah. Making some weird noises as he was walking along, so I'm not entirely sure I'll check his meat out when I uh, bone it out but yeah neck shot pretty close uh, pretty close action so I got him in the neck so I should be able to get uh, shoulders back stakes and hind quarters off him so pretty stoked gives me all day tomorrow to see if I can uh, knock over a deer as well so awesome wow that was a pretty epic afternoon. I haven't seen any more animals and the moon's pretty much out now. Sun is dropping on the other side of the hills and that's where I want to head tomorrow morning. So I want to head up onto there. There's a big terrace up there. It's going to be a bit of a hard yak. I know, also know there's a couple of deer up there. So pretty cool looking valley though. You never know, I might see something first thing in the morning. And then of course I've got all this country out to the other side. This is going to be camp for the evening. Just in between a couple of bushes, slightly down over the barrier. Should be sheltered enough. Hopefully I don't wake up with icicles on my testicles. <laughs> Alrighty guys, well that's dinner done and dusted. Good old backcountry roast lamb, I think it was. And a wee chockey bar for dessert. Uh, it's starting like seven o'clock guys, but it's pitch black up here. Um, it's meant to freeze. I think it's meant to get to about negative three tonight or tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna hit the scratcher, try and get a few hours sleep before I start uh, freezing solid. And then at least, yeah, if I do wake up, 
crazy early in the morning I can just get up pack everything up and start looking for animals I guess so yeah alrighty guys so we will see you in the morning morning guys my goodness it's cold so I got up fairly early this morning while it was still dark, packed up and squared away all my gear and I've been sitting on a fairly prominent knob and I've just been glassing this whole area uh, to see if anything was going to come out and I haven't seen anything yet, no movement. Um, I'm going to have to change my plans this morning too because the wind is coming back down the valley and I'll flip you around. I was going to head up that prominent knob and then head back down the valley uh, hunting that terrace. But the only thing is, is the wind is coming back down the valley this way and that is just going to put my scent up everywhere I go. So I'm not sure if I head up a bit further or drop back down into the valley and just glass my way back up the sides on these sides here as I walk back out. Uh, I'm not too worried, I've got meat in the pack already, uh, but yeah, just a bit gutted with the wind. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do, I might sit here for a little bit longer guys, do a bit more glassing, then I might just start hunting my way back down the valley, but yeah, hopefully I might bump into something. Happily fading away. Oh, I think we've got a uh, couple of fallow up over on the opposite face. There's another fallow doe, of course on the opposite face, across the river from me, and in order to get there I'd have to pretty much climb a just about near vertical scree bluff, so <laughs> I think they're going to be safe for me. Alrighty guys, well that's it, done and dusted for this hunt. 100% uh, success, got myself a meat animal, which was pretty cool. I uh, did see a couple more deer this morning, but just uh, wrong side of the river and a little bit too high and up out of the way for me. By the time I probably would have got there, they would have uh, probably gone in bush and bedded down again. So lucky for them. Uh, but yeah, reviewing the footage last night of the uh, photos I took of the tar, uh, I couldn't understand why he was so low and down in the valley floor. And I noticed on the photos there's a real hazing on both the eyes, a blue hazing. And I know that comes on when rigor mortis sets in, but that was a fresh kill and that still had hazing on its eyes. And I'll put a wee picky up here uh, of, the, of the animal. I'm wondering if it was actually a little bit blind and had lost its way. Um, yeah, it was very, very anemic. Uh, there was no meat on the front shoulders. Uh, nothing on the ribs, hindquarters were meh, uh, so I only took the back stakes and the rumps, uh, there was just nothing on the shoulders to take, um, and very, like, just all skin and bone, so yeah, so maybe it was just a little bit lost, blind, <laughs> heading down to the hut for a, for a warmer night, maybe, who knows, but either way, it was uh, my benefit and his demise, I guess, so yeah, so calling it quits here, guys, done and dusted, heading back home now, so, thanks for coming along, and until the next one, happy hunting!